It was about Dr. Atkins, the late Dr. Atkins. Don't worry, he'll be here. No, he won't. He gone. Is he in heaven? Yeah, Dr. Atkins, he is in heaven. He thought he was doing God's work. He said God told him to wipe out diabetes by giving people steaks. Wow. That's all God <laughs> came up with for him. <laughs> Everyone has to do their part in God's plan, I guess. Mm. John Wayne in heaven? John Wayne is in heaven, yes. The Duke? Yeah. He's having a great time. Tate, La Bianca, they in heaven? Sharon Tate and the La Bianca family? Yeah, they're in heaven. Yeah. That's good. Now, Charlie Manson, if he asks for forgiveness, he'll go to heaven. All right, good point, because he's crazy. Yeah. So do crazy people go to heaven? I think, yeah, if you're crazy and not evil, you go to heaven. If you're downright evil and you don't repent for your sins and you don't ask forgiveness and accept Jesus in your heart, then you don't go to heaven. What if a crazy person who can't accept? I think a crazy person gets to go. They're like that, like a nut. I know what a crazy person is like. Because I don't want to be around them in heaven. Yeah. Well, I don't think they'll be crazy in heaven. Really? Yeah. So you'll meet a crazy person in heaven who's like, hi, how are you? Sorry the way I acted on earth. I... Must have been crazy. I would imagine that that's how it would work. Sorry about that. Really didn't mean to keep, you know, spitting on your windshield and acting all nutty. And like, what if somebody who murdered you, you see in heaven, you're like, what are you doing here? And he's like, hey, I repented. I'm like, excuse me. I'd like to see someone. You call a waiter over. This is crap. Yep. Unfortunately, that person will be in heaven. So heaven is not going to be so heavenly. For some of us, because you're going to run into people you don't necessarily think belong there. But you'll have all the forgiveness in you. Your spirit, your soul will be a forgiving soul. I can't believe Then I'll be a totally different person. If I'm able to forgive <laughs> other people, I will be somebody else. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Is your mom going to heaven? Oh. My mother, I actually wonder. My mother is very religious, but she's not very spiritual. It's that that is a good case, Ronnie, right there. Because my mother, the more into the church she gets, the more intolerant she becomes. Interesting. Yeah. But she doesn't want the rest of us in heaven. Is this my therapy session? She doesn't want us in heaven. <laughs> no, she holds grudges and she gets mad at people. She tried to keep a baby from getting baptized a few weeks ago. Oh, boy. Because the parents weren't married. Uh, and then that baby would go limbo or hell. Where do the Lutheran babies go? The Lutheran babies go to heaven. The Lutheran babies go to heaven. The baby bother? needs to be baptized. but Why bother baptizing? Well, you got to be baptized. Everyone well, should be baptized. What about an unbaptized baby? Where do they go? I'm sure an unbaptized baby will go to heaven. I uh, see. I think there's a lot of breaks to get into heaven. Yeah. You, re you really got to work to get into hell. I will say this. If, I don't know, you got to work very hard to get into hell. <laughs> See, that's the difference between Catholics. We can get in the hell very easy. Very easy. You miss a mass, you're going to hell. <laughs> um, I think if your mom goes to heaven, uh -huh. then it won't be heaven for long. That's my own personal theory. Well, according to her, if heaven ain't a lot like Dixie, she don't want to go. I don't know that. I don't know that song. <laughs> I don't know how that stuff works. So I would imagine my mother will get to heaven. I love to hear your secular religion. It really sounds like it's fun. And it's catch as catch can. It's just all thrown together. Any which way, it's like Mexican art. Most it's of this is just my opinion. And I don't even know what the doctrine says from the Lutheran Church. It's just what I've tried to figure out along the way myself. What I've been able to piece together. How many Xanax today, Billy? Honestly. More than a dozen? No, so far only one. You're a liar. You're such no. a liar. I never lie to you about my Xanax abuse. Uh, use. So, I mean, it's, I've only taken one today. I don't believe him. No, and, uh, I don't believe him either. And how do you, you know what? How do you come up with so many different hairstyles? It's not Every easy. Every day this week has been a new hairstyle. You know, this morning, he, he's on a new diet, Fezzi. He takes his Valium and he grinds them into a slim, fast shake. Woo! He has two so shakes and a sensible meal. Did you eat meat today? No, I did not. Are we eating pizza tonight? Is that the deal? If we eat pizza, we have to have, like, cheese or veggies on it. We can't have any meat. Yeah, I can't have tuna again. 
I don't remember you getting a vote. Right, let me ask you this, Fezzi. You were saying about people who kill themselves, they go to hell. Right, yeah, we were talking about that. What about Billy, who's slowly killing himself? Oh, good question. Because I think a suicide will probably put you in hell because it's your will, not God's. Yeah, Billy's going to hell. Yeah, but my will is turned over to God on a daily basis, so whatever happens to me, it's his will, so I'm going to heaven. What, his, maybe How do you know that's his will? I think his will for you is to go to hell. No, nope. that's my will for God's will. Every day, put my will into the, my will and my life into the care of God, and so He takes care of me. Do you feel like, like you're other. slowly killing yourself? I finally feel like an atheist. If God is caring for you, if He's looking out for you, there may be no God. God loves every fiber of my being. He knows every hair on my head, everything about me. That's not much luck. <laughs> there's less hair on his head, more fiber in his being. <laughs> he wants his pound of fiber. No, I have no... Yeah, I'm pretty sure Billy's going to hell. No, any uh, any death that happens would not be self-inflicted and would just be the way that it's intended. My life is, you know, it's acceptance of... The but you're not repentant. I am certainly repentant. Oh, nah, I don't think so. You no, keep going so. back to your old ways. How many times have I apologized for things? I'm certainly repentant. That's more for show than actually oh. deep down. Oh, no, 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 no. The, those... Please, they, they, they're they very extremely heartfelt. You have no idea how much time and effort and thought and feeling goes into it. I don't apologize very often. They've been in, in threesomes amends. with guys. They've been in threesomes with guys. Understand Are you apologizing one. for that? I didn't even understand that one. I think that was a misquote. Yeah. <laughs> that was taken out of context.